my name's Mike, M0MSN. Thanks for joining me. Um, I've been asked uh, quite a few times now, how do I create the uh, the coil formers uh, for the 80 and 160 meter band um, coils uh, for the bottom of the uh, DX Commander or even the standalone ones. Um, now, uh, if you haven't got access to a lathe, uh, I can show you a couple of methods to uh, to create the coil formers and how to wind them. Um, but first of all, let's start with the lathe. Can we pinch it together? Gear selected, okay. Trial run. Got to get down to here to pull this lever down, okay. And then it will move across, okay. So you get an idea. Anyway, did you? No. Best looking core you've ever done. <laughs> Got used to it now, mate. Right. <clears throat> the next one. Now, of course, if you don't have access to a lathe, um, you can always wind them freehand. Um, and uh, you can use a couple of methods here. One of them is to stick um, double-sided um, tape down the side of the uh, former, uh, and that will then um, help with the adhesion of, the, of the, the wire as you turn the coil. The other version is to um, use hot glue. Um, put that down the former first. Anyway, we'll show you both. What we're going to be using today is a, a DX10. Um, DX10 is uh, the aerial wire that uh, 
the DX Commander um, supplies. Fabulous stuff, absolutely brilliant for this particular purpose. And now comes on lovely um, 100 meter um, coils, really quite nice. Uh, so makes it twice as easy to use. And uh, like I said, it's really, really good stuff. So um, get yourself some of that. Uh, it makes turning the coils uh, very, very easy indeed for what we're going to do today. Anyway, right, let's get on. So first and foremost, um, this is the hot glue method. You can either put the hot glue on like so, okay? Um, and, you, and you literally can either just, you know, leave it like it is or put your finger over it to move it up and down a bit. And you need maybe two or three, um, sorry, at least six of these really. Okay, like so, let it, try, let it dry off a little bit. And once they're reasonably dry, um, they'll help. Let's uh, get some DX10. And uh, We'll start it by putting a small for the uh, the extender going, and you literally just keep turning like so. Now that we've got our first one in, we can we can guesstimate our uh, our five mil spacing. This is probably closer to six mil, but you can see how the the hot glue is literally preventing the coils from from spinning around or moving up and down the. Okay, so that is literally one easy way of uh, of turning the coil keeping the separation um, the good thing is that you can still move the the dx10 up and down our glue okay Obviously you address all of this so that it's uh, the right spacing. Um, just trying to show you how to do this relatively quickly. And that isn't gonna move up and down. Okay, that's quite nicely and firmly positioned. Um, I'll uh, cut that. So that's one way of doing our coil. 
let me show you the the um, double-sided tape method okay let me show you the double-sided tape method Strangely, the double-sided tape method is very similar to the glue method. Um, you just use double-sided tape. In exactly the same way as you would the glue. And again, in exactly the same way, the X10 goes in, and you literally turn the coil as you go. Now the only thing about double-sided tape is it's not quite as forgiving as the glue method, so you have to be a bit slower and just a little bit more accurate. Now, I've got a quick note on this five mil spacing. Okay. It's not as crucial as, uh, as you might think. If you've got a couple of one, a couple of them that are at eight mil and a couple that are at four mil and a couple that are at uh, six mil or five mil, it's not overly important. What is important is measuring the right amount of uh, Henry's or Miller Henry's or Micro Henry's or at the end of the coil. Now for the DX Commander um, 11 or 40 meter element, which is the 11.15 meters in length element, we need the uh, the coil to measure around 19 um, UH or uh, Miller Henry's or Mi Micro Henry's, isn't it? Um, so it really is a case of winding around 24 or 25 turns on a on a three inch in diameter um, pipe, and then measuring uh, the uh, micro henrys and tapping it at the the 19 micro henry point okay so all of this really is uh, a guide because it's going to be different for every coil um, that you turn depending of course on the uh, diameter of the wire you're using and uh, also the, uh, the the diameter of the the former. So just to let you know, it's round 19 micro henrys, 19 and a half micro henrys, Miller henrys. I'll get it right. I'll I'll check it. I think it's Miller henrys. U H. Just terminology. Okay. So that's how you do it with with tape.